Hello everyone, welcome to Millimed, the complete educational and motivational channel. In today's topic, we are going to discuss about a very important topic of our state, which is called 1012 Doctrine. Trauma happens at a speed of life. How quickly you react to that specific trauma can have a definite impact on the overall survival of the person you are rendering aid to. In 10 minutes to doctrine, 10 indicates platinum 10 minutes, next one hour it's known as golden one hour and next is next two hours. So let's go directly to our topic. The risk of death or permanent disability is significantly reduced if people are treated as soon as possible after the onset of a life-threatening injury. So these life-saving procedures are provided within a specific timeline. This is known as 1012 doctrine. let's go to platinum 10 minutes it represents the maximum time in minutes to provide the necessary immediate life-saving measures after the onset of injury this is referred to as platinum 10 minutes bleeding and airway control for severely injured casualty to be given within 10 minutes of injury We will be applying tourniquet, packing the hemostatic gauze, wrapping the pressure bandage and offering comfort. So why is that first 10 minute post injury is so important? Our body will circulate entire volume of blood in a minute. An average adult has an around 5 liter of blood. If your femoral artery is dissected, you can lose over a liter of blood within the first minute. So bleeding that much is enough to place the victim in a stage 2 hemorrhagic shock that can drop chances of survival. Hope you understand the importance of this platinum 10 minutes. After that, this is golden one hour. It represents the maximum time that necessary damage control resuscitation (DCR) procedures are provided by a medical personnel, and this should be completed within one hour. The injured patient has 60 minutes from the time of injury to receive definitive care, after which morbidity and mortality rate increases significantly so this one hour is so critical and so important in the procedure of life saving of a patient the ultimate goal is one of medical transport and evacuation to a medical facility appropriate to casualties condition so this two hours it represents the recommended maximum time that necessary damage control surgery DCS is provided this should start within two hours of the injury or illness so it increases the survivability chances of the patient this is all about 10 one to doctor if you like this video support us by subscribing our channel Thank you so much for watching.